Hello, YouTube's Alex here, back with some, well, another PC video here, and you're going to have to excuse the incredibly atrocious quality of both the video, the lighting, and what you're about to watch. Because uh, let's just say it is, uh, it's kind of dark out there on a stormy, rather hot English night um, at the moment, and I just thought, well, it's about time I'd... Uh, uh, show you this new server, as I've um, been kind of needing more storage. Well, I say that. I've been wanting more storage, personally, uh, as my YouTube seems to be growing and videos, and I just need place to store crap. So, £800 later, we get this monstrosity here. By no means is the cable management perfect, but yeah. But this is the big replacement. We're talking like, uh, well, I think include, well, at the end of the day, it's 12.7 terabytes of space. Now, yes, it's technically 16 terabytes of raw space, if you're wondering why have I called it 16 terabytes uh, servo, because it technically is in raw space, but when you obviously uh, format things, put them in a RAID 5, uh, it actually becomes uh, 12.7. At least that's what Open Media Vault decides to, uh, uh, to make it at. Now, if you're wondering what the hell my old server used to be like, you're going to have to excuse all the crap, and yeah, this, <laughs> this monstrosity was and is the old server. It's actually been slowly being taken up, taken apart. Just, just ignore the fact that there's like optical drives in the way. Uh, I did that just to fill the holes. This case is one of those really old steel full tower cases and well yeah it, it's just a bit of a mess in here. The power supply is literally jerry-rigged in there just a aero cool 500 watt skew. Um, I literally just bought it just for this purpose. There's a 750 watt in the server behind me but um, originally this is this was well the spec in this machine is a uh, uh, call to duo e8500 and 8 gigs of RAM running free NAS uh, which I'm subsequently changing to open media for as I previously mentioned um, there should be three uh, two terabyte drives even though I've actually pilfered one because uh, let's just say one of the eight drives I bought off an eBay seller has died so I've kind of decided to save time I'll just pull a drive out of this array temporarily compromising this server but it still functions because it's a raid, you know, I could lose a drive. Um, currently copying all my shit across now. It's going to have to do it overnight because it's going to be a really long process. Um, but, yeah, the, the drives are actually um, these enterprise-grade SKUs. If, uh, hold on a moment. Where the hell is it? Yeah, this here, this is the drive that doesn't work, but if the camera will focus and doesn't blind out too much, they are uh, Western Digital Enterprise-grade SKUs, two terabytes apiece. Uh, I found them on eBay. Uh, seller was doing new old stock drives, um, selling them for about £49 each, uh, which is uh, really kind of cheap for what these things are. This is the one that seems to be dead, I will be testing that later. Uh, but that's the spec of the old server, um, nothing too crazy, and it was basically 4 terabytes of usable space. So, going back to this machine though, this is a, well, a vastly superior upgrade, not just in storage, and yeah, there's the 750 watt power supply as previously mentioned, but um, we have, like I said, we have eight of these two terabyte enterprise SKUs in here. Uh, the specs, if you're wondering, I've got a KB Lake Pentium SKU, the G4560, uh, two core, four thread thing, four gigs of DDR4 RAM, I think, what, 2133 megahertz, nothing crazy, and uh, three of these ultra cheap uh, raid cards from CSL, um, which, well, I'm only using them as more like a, uh, an HBA just to simp simply connect the. Uh, all these hard drives you could see there's a couple drives actually connected to the motherboard as you can sort of see down below there uh, so all eight drives are connected in some fashion uh, and yeah bit of a mess but it seems to work um, that's, that, that crap just knock over um, shit if I flip over to my laptop here which is doing the file transfer or at least it will be currently it's discovering files uh, 1.13 terabytes of uh, space that's being it's going to be copied uh, that's just my stuff I'm not that's not even including uh, my parents files and stuff so that's going to be fun and if you could tell by the uh, i7 sitting there that is actually uh, it's my old uh, what was it latitude d6410 so uh, so yeah I will be giving more information about the server probably in the description I'll probably actually put a, uh, a list of all the components uh, that I used in the description uh, although I suspect these drives probably won't be going around on eBay for much longer. I could be wrong, because, I don't know, the seller seems to have a lot of these. Sold almost 2,000 of them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let's just say speeds, I can get about a gigabit in and out, um, as as I was expecting with a machine like this. If a Core 2 Duo system could run nearly a gigabit speeds, 
although I think I was only doing 60 megabytes uh, per second on the uh, right, reads were a gigabit, then this is certainly uh, more than enough horsepower. So highly re I'd highly recommend that KB8 Pentium SKU if you just want a single um, gigabit capable server uh, running a rather large RAID 5. Uh, but there we have it. So yeah, sorry for the just atrocious quality of this video. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, that, this is what I've been working on in the background. And once again, it's a final look at the old monstrosity server. This will be torn down and it might be turning into uh, the Minecraft server, or the, the machine I'll use to host the Minecraft server on. Uh, I don't know. If you want to know about the Minecraft server, uh, go onto the Discord, which will be in the description, and just talk to um, Gertlush Salmon, or Nat, as he's, al he's also known, as um, just ask him, and he'll give you the IP information to the server. So this old server might soon be the Minecraft server, um, possibly, and my file server will get a new lease on life, as long as I can get everything sorted, get the files transferred, and hopefully nothing goes to shit. Because I had a little bit of setup, dif um, setup difficulties um, to get this... Um, new machine up, I had, uh, well, like I said, had that one drive that died, OMV was just having a major issue, it took about 10 hours to build the RAID array this morning, or today even, so I've been quite busy um, in between Space Engineers and all the other shit that's been uh, going on, so there we have it, so let me know what you think, this is probably way overkill from most people, but I'm thinking big, and plus, hey, you've got to spend your, uh, your paycheck from work on something, eh? Um, so yeah, ignore the uh, compact desk pro end down there, that's just something I've uh, had in storage uh, for a while, i.e. just sitting on my chest of drawers here, whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, just <laughs> I'll try and get better quality videos, uh, uh, like if I was able to do this again, I'll try and do something better. I just want to get this done, this video done, and uh, in the pipeline, so anyway, I'll shut up now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.